here we are. Yes, another week. It's the disrespect for me. Disrespect for me. What it means to me, come. Be prepared. Do you want it? I don't want it. Because you're asking for it. You're dying for it. No, but now. Be so drama, I can attest. Trading the girls at a penny press. Arms for red, everyone can be. Sister, girl, Mr. Berkeley. He's for puppet, I'm PCSD. Everybody, I'm going to carry you. I'm going to carry you. That just ain't no tea. Welcome to hell. This is another episode of the Disrespect Podcast. I am white. And y'all know I hate being fucking hot. So I don't even know why y'all carry like this. But I am dying. Actually, no, honey. I'm Mrs. For it. And I will be addressed as such. Because clearly we are no longer friends. And we are no longer on good terms. So address me as such, Miss Ford. But still, I was raised with some manners. So hey, how y'all doing? All right, clearly. If y'all hate us, just say that. We don't okay. need a frame dynamic. It's so 90s, right? Exactly. But let's start things off like on a semi good note. Um, our Glenda Ina Coca Ina, go ahead and flip that squish mellow in the back, turn that frown upside down just for a moment. We are just celebrating and congratulating our good sis, current vice president and queen. Kamala Harris, Coco, you who put up an amazing Coco. race. We are just so proud of you, despite this major letdown and disappointment of our entire nation. Um, the girls that got it, got it. Mm-hmm. And Beyonce was one of the girls' girls. She understood the assignment. I understood the assignment. Clearly, Miss Cleo also understood the assignment. Like Taylor Swift um, Taylor understood, Swift the, understood the assignment. Uh huh. had a lot of us that did, but I don't know. We just dropped the ball somewhere. Um, let's get right on into the disrespect. You can flip Mr. Squishmallow right on back. Thank you so much, Kamala, though. We love you so much, girl. But we about to have to do a little something, something to We have to talk to the people of the nation. Real quick. We need to address the, pe- address the nation real quick. Address the nation, yes, immediately. Mm-hmm. So I want to talk to, in specific, you girl Lalinis and guy Lalinis who did not vote at all. For all of y'all that just decided to not participate. Now, I know that a lot of you don't believe in the political system. You know, I'm not into that political. La, la, la. I get it. I get it. I get it. You feel like you don't have a voice. You feel like you don't have power. That's what they want you to think. Come close. We have power. But we need to work together. Do y'all remember that movie, A Bug's Life? That is my favorite, like, reference for this scenario. In A Bug's Life, the crickets laughed at the ants because they thought they were weak. They thought they were stupid. There was that ant that stood up to me. Yeah, but we can forget about him. Yeah, it was just one ant. (laughs) But (laughs) the main cricket knew that if the ants were ever smart enough to realize their power Hmm. together. Puny? Say, let's pretend this brain is a puny little ant. Did that hurt? (laughs) Nope. Well, how about this one? Are you kidding? (laughs) How about this? You let one ant stand up to us, then they all might stand up. Those puny little ants outnumber us a hundred to one. And if they ever figure that out, there goes our way of life. It's not about food. It's about keeping those ants in line. That's why we're going back. Does anybody else want to stay? Guys, we're the ants. We need to stop thinking that we are just individuals out here that we have no power, no say, that the man 
are you whoever the power that be is the only one that's in control that's not true y'all we can change the narrative of this nation we can actually have our own say we can make the rules but we need to work together we need to realize the true power of each other that's what the united states are supposed to be they're not supposed to be the ununited states are the that don't yeah that don't really don't got the same ring really, to it <laughs> yeah it don't really sound good and to piggyback <laughs> of what you said why it, it's it's important to educate yourself okay it's important to educate yourself because you may think things don't affect you but they do they may affect those around you um they may affect what you want to ascertain later in life and see what well, you know, I told you I import with my little brother, like why he should vote, do your research, get educated. It's important. And sometimes if you're not in a very political space, you may not know the happenstance or the in and outs of some things that you may not agree with. So then you basically get signed up for something, like to participate in something or become a societal norm of something that you may not agree with and you were never the wiser because you just didn't vote. So it's important to know. It's important because even though you think an election or one term, people can instill laws and legislation and a lot of things into system that can be affected for generations to come. So, vote. Say that. Say that. Vote. Go vote. Your voice matters, guys. I'm so sorry that we have let down Kamala Harris. Like, it clearly oh, was God. not about the most qualified candidate this year. It was not about the person who could get the job done. Like, this was based on race and this was based on sex. And I really want to address the sex and the race of people who need our protection the most right now? And who better to do it than one of our own, uh, one of our very own? A special guest. And, th and then so ironically of uh, me having to be a Black woman to come in and swoop in and explain or save the day or politic and network. And it's just a lot. So to all my sisters, y'all know I've talked to you before. I know that this is very disheartening because growing up for a lot of us, we didn't see a lot of representation. And once we do, when we do, it's like the little girl in us comes out because we realize that internally within our group, within our community, we know we are more than capable. We are more than willing. We're more determined. We are more steadfast. We are more everything into our dreams, our goals, our aspirations, anything. So when we saw Kamala, even BVP, but running for president, it was like, wow, we can do anything. But let me tell you something. The sheer disgust, disgusting, distasteful things that ensued post this election about black women is what to white said very clear on why it was about sex and race and you hate black women black women are hated very highly in this country we're like the raisins in the potato salad bitch <laughs> that that's what y'all tried to make us even though honey never I I don't know what it will take to change, to further educate, to implore people, but women, women of color, people are just as educated, just as worthy of this. And we always go off on America is the land of the free, we're so diverse. I, our diverseness is what makes us great. We're this melting pot. But every waking turn where there is somebody Black, unfortunately, or a minority, they're never received well by the masses. 
And it's just really sad to think that we've come so far and gone nowhere. Yeah, it really shows America's true colors. And it just shows the test of time that America always would be about the same thing it has always been about. Like, I know I saw a future of hope where anybody could be anything. Here was this Mm -hmm. mixed race, like, Black woman who was going to become the president of the United States. It showed that anybody, anywhere could be anything they wanted to be. But our reality is just based in what it is. Like, this is a convicted felon. He's a white man. He's blatantly racist. He's blatantly prejudiced, homophobic, transphobic. You name it. Zionist. Like, he is just everything wrong with the world. And he's just out here and he's just in our face with it. And he became the president of the United States. That goes to show me that no matter what you do as a white man in this country, you can get away with anything and be anything you want. But only if you are a white man. Specifically. Specifically. And let me just touch on something, too, before we move on a little bit. You're allowed to have whatever political choice that you want, right? And if you see there are avenues where your money or financial status or whatever, you feel like is not going to be encroached upon. But I really want to express that this Politics have become so much more and they have become so entwined with the safety of my community, the safety of other communities, the prospects of where we can go, the the ownership of my body, um, just a lot of things. And so it becomes... Documentary yet? When she was talking about... Mm -mm. Well, this is already well-known knowledge, so I'm not spoiling anything, but was this the part where Meg was like at the police, all at her, like when she got shot and the police pulled up, mm-hmm. she didn't want to tell them the truth about what had really happened, that this man had just shot her. She was mm-hmm. more concerned about his own his life than her own well-being at the moment, which just goes to show you how black women really are about that life. She knew that in this political climate, if she would have told them police that Tory Lanez had shot her, they would have put so many holes in that man's body in that moment. It wouldn't have made no sense. Mm-hmm. So you can't just say like, oh, these politics don't affect me. Like, I don't do these type. Like, it affects us all. You just don't see it until it happens to you. And then you go, oh, well, this is just a cruel world we live in. Why is it like that? Like, what are you doing to change it? And I forgot to tell you all that are not voting or the people that just vote in the wrong directions. Like, Really morally, morally think about what you're doing and how it affects people that you may know that you may never meet. Like, yes, we can't control everything that happens in the world, but at least do your part to control what you can. You can't just say, I don't, I, I don't have it. I don't, I don't give up. Like, my voice doesn't matter. I'm, it doesn't matter. Yes, it matters. Very much so. Very, very, very much so. Because now... We've gotten into some shit. Oh, yeah. We got into a hell of a situation now. And it's called Project 2025. And it's coming at us in a few months. Let me tell y'all about how Project 2025 has been set. The Heritage Foundation has been planning this 900-page document for years. And guess what next year is? 2025, guys. It's about to go down. These founders, we looked at the founders, they are the oldest, whitest, most evil looking people I have ever laid eyes on. First of all, they look like the devil, honey. Okay. And then here we are with some of these photos, even in black and white. So let's just set the scene here. Okay. This is who we're dealing with. Okay. Let's start there. These people are planning to, first of all, Ban pornography, guys. That means there's no more OnlyFans. We're going to start right here. There's no more BBW Wednesday. 
there's no more baddies yeah. on Instagram. No, 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 no more little boosie parties for y'all. Now okay. For $1, okay, they are um, shutting down P Valley officially, baby. For y'all can just call it on that. Second of all, there's no one to complain to because baby, if you even try to go and sneak it and you think you got your VPN, your little private network, you're about to go watch it anyway. Oh, well, it's saved on my phone. Baby, they are coming for you. It's warrantless surveillance out here now. They don't need no warrants. They don't need anything. It's giving, I seen what you was doing. Okay, I seen it. And you're going to jail. I know what you did last summer. Bye. Okay, baby, they're coming for you. They're watching us. They're getting rid of the Department of Justice. They're getting rid of the, the FBI and the Department of Education. Lord. Okay, they don't want us to have anybody to protect us. They don't want our kids to learn anything. And they don't want us to have anyone to even report to because they are targeting journalists. They're targeting protesters. Baby, they're taking away our First Amendment rights. This is all in the... Go read it. You think I'm making it up? Okay, and they're censoring critical discussions in the classroom. Not only are they getting rid of the Department of Education, but they are no longer going to allow us to talk about race theory we're no longer going to be able to talk about or use the words in specific gender equality. The term gender equality is no longer going to be a term that is like acceptable to use. What else did they say, Fran? Listen, <laughs> they also want to cut abortion access. We got mad. Listen, hold on. Let me touch on some of the things you just said because I don't even know if the people really just heard all what you said. Because to me, it was giving handmaids tell lie. I was asleep before. That's how we let it happen. When they slaughtered Congress, we didn't wake up. When they blamed terrorists and suspended the Constitution, we didn't wake up then either. Now I'm awake. My name is Alfred. I had another name. Ladies, I have to let you go. It's the law now. They needed to do it this way. All the bank accounts and the jobs all at the same time. You imagine the airports otherwise? Run, run, run! Oh, you girls will serve the leaders and their barren wives you will bear children for them. There's an eye in your house. We'll send you to the colonies. You'll be cleaning up toxic waste and then you'll die. Tonight is a celebration of Gilead and of what we have achieved. We only wanted to make the world better. Better? Better never means better for everyone. I want to keep on living for her. Remember your scripture. Blessed are the meek. And blessed are those who suffer for the cause of righteousness. Wait, is this fucking play about us? Uh, why so hands on? Like, why so, like, like you said, no protection. No, you're just disbanding a lot of shit. It's very Handmaid's Tale of them. I think the creator of the Handmaid's Tale even posted a very haunting photo that just showed that a lot of people chose to keep on their red Handmaid's outfits for the next four years. And even I... though they want to get rid of like this race theory and, pardon me, they want to get rid of all of this gender equality talk they are opening up a new term called anti-white racism, which forbids us to discriminate against white people and be racist to white people. And yes, you heard me. We cannot be racist to white people, guys. But they're saying that we can be. Well, that goes back to when Trump was getting rid of sensitivity training in the police force because he was, quote, saying that it was teaching the cops to hate America, like to hate themselves. 
So it almost comes from this place like if we teach about racism, if we teach about history, if we teach about certain stuff that we're being racist or teaching racism or teaching white children to hate themselves, but that's not it. Your history is your history. You know? And it's funny because Trump tries to distance himself from Project 2025. Very much. Even though his vice president Vance is more closely associated with the um what's it called? The foundation, the Heritage Foundation. The Heritage Farms. Uh, I mean, my bad. <laughs> That's, yeah, they're trying to put us on a her the heritage plantation more like yes yeah, sure gonna is. be a slave farm you sure right girl why like did my friend get a text message the other day the day of the election that said um hi you have been chosen to um pick cotton or something like that and your bus number is going to be bus number d please be prepared on October or September 28th for a pickup or whatever. Girl, what? These people are getting out of control. <laughs> Girl, Already. What? And that's Girl, why what? I said it's a moral thing. It's like, if you if you got your money concerned, that's one thing. But where do you stand with humanity? Where do you stand with people? Because I can't in good conscience and good faith allow myself well, what the fuck is going on right now? And it tells and it shows that there's this level of empowerment and emboldenedness that the section or subsection of people feel to start popping their shit. And that's what he represents to them. Yeah, that's and why. I need people to stop being oblivious. Like y'all don't see that that is a thing. It's not making it a race thing. When, like you said, you not even in office yet, but the day after or the election day, you talking about which plantation to go to to pick cotton. It's being made a race thing because it's always been a race thing for y'all all. Just and that's even the anti-white racism or not teaching about history or not teaching about slavery and all that shit. It's like you can't erase what you did. You can't erase what you did, and and then you want to do worse moving forward. Yeah, that's why even though he tries to dis distance himself away from Project 2025, they share a lot of the same rhetoric, including cutting abortion access, like you said, including making yeah. it harder to vote, limiting the poll access. And we all know what that means. Go ahead and break it down for him, friend. When we're limiting the poll access, so just like recently in the last election, there were a lot of heavily urban areas or some rural but still urbanly populated areas that were closing down many polling locations so imagine like for most of us you may have two or three maybe a five 15 minute distance maybe 20 at the most you're talking about now people having to drive an hour an hour and a half two hours away in order to get to their nearest polling station, which basically discourages people to vote. Or if you don't have a way to go vote, you know, now you're making it so much harder in order to get there because you've removed all of these locations. Yeah. And they're targeting these specific diverse areas, not only to limit the poll access there, but they are doing mass deportation. So for all you Latin folks who went and voted for Donald Trump, all of y'all's folks, friends, and even some of y'all's families who are not properly documented, they're planning on coming to mass deport them. And they are not just going to do this like by the books. They are kicking doors down. They are separating families. They are going to be coming to your specific area and coming to deport people. They're doing it very inhumanely. They are going to be removing like sanctions and asylums that we have established over decades. They are just going to be really being evil. It's very evil. And, and that's to top it all off. I'm sorry, go ahead. No, I was just about to say, and that's another reason why they're targeting journalism. I feel so heavy in the project 2025 because when they started doing the mass deportation and ICE, these past couple of years, which has never stopped. You remember how much of a 
turn or a slight turn it was when we started seeing the children sleeping on the floor with the aluminum blankets mm -hmm. and they're showing that they don't have anything in there and it's like we're still going to have journalism that is going to try to show what that looks like because I think a lot of y'all are from fucking Missouri which is the show me state or your visual fucking learners so you need to see so I remember that sticking out as people being like okay I knew people were being deported but I didn't know they laying on the ground with uh, Reynolds foil wrap as a blanket. Yeah, like they about to be taking this in the oven. Um, like how you're born into your citizenship. They're going to try to rescind that and take it away. So if you was born here, but your parents wasn't, girl, they're coming for you too, sis. You thought it was cute that you could vote for him, baby. They're about to take your right to vote and your citizenship. Poo. Like y'all play too much when y'all playing with y'all own selves. And to top it all off, they're going to go back and cut all of the protections they have put up for global warming and the environment. Stuff that we're still working on to save future generations. They're getting ready to go back and erase all that as well. So we're just going back, 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 back words. Hell. Yeah. Well, Cardi B say, I, I wish, wish you well. well. In, in hell. hell. In hell. <laughs> yeah. That's what it is. Are you really? Burn in hell. So disappointed, <laughs> y'all. Tyra Banks scream. Y'all did not learn nothing, but learn something from this. Educate y'all fucking selves. Like, let's not be, like, let's just not be so divisive. Okay? We're humans. We need each other. We got to get along. Like, you know what I'm saying? Let's let's work on not being filled with hate and figuring out how to move forward. And like I said, plenty of times on this podcast, I've said plenty of times off of this podcast, Black people are the coolest people ever. The worst shit happens to us and, and, and we still be in that, like, we can work out. We can, like, really, like, figure out a one, two. So let's let's just please like, let's just stop being idiots let's stop being puppets let's stop being pawns let's stop acting like we're in text brackets that we're not let's really just let's not let's not embolden an evil because we don't want to see a certain physical stature type gender in a position of power let's go for the best candidate vote for your children Vote for your children's children. We're talking about people who wanted to be figuring out how to not have so many school shootings. We're talking about senators and people sending stuff up that are eco-friendly so that your children can still go to beaches and that there will actually be water there and fish. And it's not just like hot as fuck because we've ripped the whole ozone layer and we done peeled y'all muffin cap back blue. So everybody is living in a bunker under 300 fucking feet because y'all wanted to frack and drill oil and do all this extra ignorant ass shit. And actually, fuck y'all for creating a whole system anyways, because we could have just been naked living off the fucking earth as I feel like the one intended us to be. So the fact that y'all created such a shitty fucking system haunts me and i don't want to haunt y'all but yeah sorry for my tangent but y'all just y'all just y'all just Ooh, yes child. i want to hold your hand when i say this do better do better yes y'all do better remember your voice counts remember that together we are better um you have any like words for our black queens that are listening right now that might need a little bit of encouragement I'm going to find the clip so we can insert it. If you've never watched Scandal, please go watch Scandal. Love Carrie Washington. Olivia Pope is her character. She has this uh like 45 second interlude when she's talking to her father about what she feels like she's old and uh facing adversity in which he reminds her very sternly what has he always told her. You have to be what? Twice. What? Twice as good. Twice as good as them to get half of what they have. That she has to work twice as hard to be half as good, to be noticed. And unfortunately, that is 
a lot of our stories. It's a lot of who they try to deem us and make us to be. And it is a lot of work, but we make it look great. We make it look beautiful. We handle it with style. We handle it with grace. And we always choose to wake up and figure out how to move forward, which is best for us and the people around us. So I'm sorry that this felt like such a blow, but just know we're in this together. We're going to figure it out. You are special. You are beautiful. You are one of one. We almost had it. We almost did it, but never fret because we can get there. And I love y'all. I love y'all. Even though we got to be in hell. Yeah. I still love y'all. All right, y'all. Well, that's another week of disrespect. Thank y'all so much for joining us way down in the depths of Dante's Inferno. AKA the pits, AKA hell, AKA the United slums, States of America, honey. the ghetto, yes. as Nini said. Child, we're here again. We'll see y'all next week. Um, go check out our merch. Go subscribe to our Patreon. We out of here. Bye. Bye. Learn something from this.